So, we're back with a bit more Journey of Life. Um, I've started another new game, as you can see, all of the uh, stuff that I built over there hasn't, you know, well, it's not there. And instead, I've got this stuff here. I've, well, I've got a giant pile of logs, but I'll get to that later. I've moved my boat to a location that's a bit more sensible, so now once that's complete, we can just sort of launch it down into the water. Would have probably made more sense to have it the other way around, but I'm sure we'll figure that out when we get there. These are the crafting stations I had last time. I've got my ore crusher here and my advanced melting furnace with the, the lid and stuff. This here is my storage room. I've put all of my resources in here. This is food down the side there. I've got some brown mushrooms, some coconuts, some yucca leaves. I'm keeping all my tools on my workstation which I've upgraded to an advanced workstation, which you can kind of do by interacting with it. Uh, so if you open your inventory with tab, then you can sort of click upgrade on here, if it's possible to upgrade it. That wasn't expensive, that was just, I think, 25 straight solid sticks. I've done a bit of mining, so a lot of the prep work that I did for this episode was I just mined a ton of stuff, so there's lots of limestone, lots of iron, lots of coal. I think everything other than clay. I don't think I've got any clay here, so we'll probably have to get some of that. I've got a big stick pile, just lots of straight solid sticks and bamboo tubes and stuff. Well, palm tubes, not bamboo tubes. Uh, just a pile of generic rocks, so there's all different kinds the flat rocks, the jagged rocks, the sharp rocks, or whatever. And just a big pile of plant fibers. Now, I did originally have all of the leaves and stuff in here as well. However, they make a massive mess, if I can get out of the wall. Uh, yeah, I made a nice neat pile and they just kind of exploded. So, I moved those outside because they weren't behaving. And as you saw previously, this giant pile of logs and stumps there. I figured that since the beach has a bit of an incline and there's this rock in the way and gravity exists, this was the perfect place to keep them and they seem to be settled, honestly. Unless you drop one inside and it doesn't clip properly with the other ones, it doesn't move around or anything, so... I can thankfully keep a nice, solid frame rate with all of that wood in that pile there. I don't know if I'm ever going to use all of that, but you get a ton more resources than it looks like initially when everything's just scattered around. This room here isn't done yet, I still have to fill in all of these blueprinted walls, just clay ore in there. Oh yeah, I'm going to need a ton of clay, aren't I? Also some more birch. So this here was probably going to be like a bit of a storage room. Then once I've got chests built up in here, I'd probably knock the wall through to here and just have a bit more storage in there still. Because you can actually build chests. You don't have to have everything like a stockpile like I thought you did initially. And then up here was just going to be a bit of a living space. I'd have like my bed on this thatch roof here since it'd be softer than a clay floor. And I'd just have a bit of a balcony out here as well overlooking our lovely little bear. So basically moved everything, built some more structure, harvested some more resources. Other than upgrading the work table here, I've got basically every crafting station I had previously, so it's not like I've just gone and made a ton of progress without going through it properly. But I think I'm going to work on getting some of the things I need to make the next stage of my bird, which means I need to make some new crafting stations. So I need planks and nails. Yeah, you can see here there's like wooden chests, you can store seven different slots of items. There's power as well, you've got water wheels and windmills. Powered ore crushers, so that'll crush the ore for me automatically. But we will want to start with a woodworks. Oh, we needed the saw blade for that, which means that we needed to get a saw. So, is that in tools? A saw, yeah. So we need a saw blade. Where does a saw blade come from? Craftables, maybe? Or is it in pottery? Do we have to make a cast for it? Ah, saw blade mold, here we go. Clay mold, two hand saw blade. Uh, I don't think that's the right one somehow. The icon was different. Okay, yeah, here's the one we want the uh, two hand mold. The one right there, so we just need a bit more clay ore. So I guess I should grab my shovel and go grab some clay. 
to put my other tools down on the table so I can have a bit more inventory space. And annoyingly, your hotbar clears every time you reload the game, so you have to uh, select all your tools and everything again every time you start up. Oh yeah, this massive clear area here is where all of that wood came from. They used to be trees, but not so much anymore. Alright, here we are back at the clay curve. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, let's just get a full inventory of this so we don't have to come back anytime soon. Alright, there we go. That's our inventory filled up with clay. Now, on the way back as well, there is a little something that I found that I don't want to be inside that rock, that I just want to show before it gets dark. Oh god, actually, this is really bad timing. It's about to go night, isn't it? Is this it? Oh yeah, here we go. Now, there is this just giant dark ravine. And you can actually build, um, what is it, like a, a wooden pulley lift down into this, this thing. You really can't see anything in here. It's so dark. And it's supposed to be like a more advanced mine where you can get gemstones and stuff like that from. Which I thought was quite interesting. So the cave itself isn't like the be all end all for gathering resources. So it's nice to know there's a bit more progression than I initially thought. Oh yeah, there's also an invisible wall. Like I'm you can see I'm sprinting into the wall here at an angle, so I'm moving sideways. This island's nowhere as big as it initially seemed. Okay, yeah, it's getting really dark now. I think I'm just gonna have to wait out the night again. Because I don't think I can make a bed until I have planks. But, if I only need to cast a sword blade and then melt some iron into it, I should get some light from the furnace, so maybe we're not too bad. So let's drop the shovel back down on here. And then we just pretty much just drop the clay onto the stockpile there. That's how I've been keeping these resources organized. Just chuck it on the most relevant pile. There we go. And I can now make a two-handed saw. There we are. Craft that. And now just put it down here, right? that work? Mold need to be baked. Hmm. How would I bake a mold then? Do I need to build like a, a campfire or something? Yeah, bake clay and cook items. Alright, so I just need to get six identity rocks for this. In fact, I should have those on my stockpile. And let there be light. There we go. Perfect. And glitchy effects. Okay, so what do I do? Do I just like drag this down next to this? Is it baking? Raw. Oh, it's now baked. That was very quick. At least I can see what I'm doing. So, will this work now? It will. Okay, good. So what recipe five iron nuggets. Uh, okay, so if I crush some iron ore with my hammer on that table, will that give me iron nuggets? Let's pick up some iron ore, also a bit of coal. And if I put my iron ore onto the table, like this, and then what, do I hit it with my hammer? Is this iron nuggets? Iron ore ball. It needs to be smelted in furnace. Okay, so does the ore go underneath here? Apparently it can, but I can only put one in at a time? Or is that fine to put loads in? Is that full? I think that's full. Okay, so what, do I put coal down the bottom here now? Uh, put that in there. Can be used to keep fire up. Or do I need sticks? Ah, here we go. And what about my fire starter? Uh, God, this is so finicky. Okay, okay, there we go. So do I close this up? And what, do I, can I put coal in now? Yes, here we go. 
Oh, okay, you can see up on the uh, top left of the tooltip there how hot it's getting. I'm guessing when the temperature grade gets full, then it'll start smelting stuff. So we just need to keep that fire up until then. And for some reason I keep ending up picking up my shovel every time I put it down. Stay there. Okay, so it's at its max temperature now. Is that working? It needs to be crushed. Oh, God. That's not good. I need to crush it some more. Now I've just got a load of chunks in the bottom of this lit furnace that I'm pulling out by hand. Alright, you know what, let's just try and crush these up then. Needs to be crushed. <laughs> Look how hot it is. Okay, are those nuggets now? Ah, there we go, that's nuggets. All need to be baked. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. So I, I was doing the right thing. I need to bake it inside here. Then crush it again. Then I can smelt it again? That one's baked, that one's baked, that one's baked, that one's baked. Ah, these ones are raw, okay. So the baked ones don't stack. Okay, so that's full, and then I could put the nuggets into the top. I need one more nugget than what I've put, and then what I've got so far, so do I just crush up another... another moonstone, or whatever the hell this thing looks like? Okay, and another one here, and close it back up. Ah, so it cools down a lot when I open it. Alright, I guess I just need to leave that to melt into there now. If it could get brighter, that'd be real nice too. Wait, is there only one nugget in there? Yeah, so how do I put more than one nugget? Oh, okay, there we go. So that's why it wasn't working, I didn't actually put enough nuggets in. Okay, there. So that should be enough to do this now. Yeah, it's getting hotter again. Perfect. The campfire's going down. Which means it should be daytime soon, because the last time I used one of these, the campfire ran out just as day was breaking. We're about 35% through. Well, 35% left in our fuel. Is this even working? It's getting colder still. Do I need to keep the fire really high? I'll put some more coal in. Okay, yeah, you need to keep the fire really high if you want it to heat up enough to melt metal. Ooh, 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 ooh. It just did something. Oh, I've got a scroll wheel menu now. Take out? So what's this? Jesus Christ, how did that fit in there? Well, I now have a saw blit. Oh, it's raining. Ooh. Oh, wait, I should make a, uh, a water collector. And you know what? I'm betting that this rain is going to absolutely knacker the compression on this video once it goes up. Because when I play it armor, and it's even a slight bit foggy, the video can look perfectly fine on my side after it's rendered. But as soon as it goes up, nope, blurring city. So in goes the funnel, and the pot goes underneath. There we are. So that should now start collecting water into this pot, I think. Uh, yep, we have... 10... Or is that 1C, 2C? Is that supposed to be 2 centiliters? Like 20 milliliters or something? We have 3 waters now? I, I don't understand that tooltip. That's fine though, we'll just leave that be. Okay, how's the rest of our ore baking in here? Okay, it's looking good. It's all moon rocky. It's pretty easy to spot when it goes red like that, which is good. Let's just get the rest of this broken down before I melt my fingers. This setup here with the ore crusher seems kind of counterintuitive to me. Surely if these are just, like, the sticks, we'd break this instantly by smashing it with a hammer. Well, I've got plenty of iron nuggets anyway. So I should now be able to make a saw table, right? Woodworks, yeah. Okay, let's get this placed. Where shall I put this, like, here? Or should I put it... I should probably put it nearer to the log pile, right? Yeah, let's put it there. So I should just be able to grab the logs outside of the, uh, the pile, since I'm stood near it. And in fact, I should also be able to craft the five fiber rope I need from this point as well. Oh, I need to craft the saw blade into an actual saw now. 
So, tools. Is it in here? Yep, saw. It's just a couple straight solid sticks, okay. So, I'll just stand near the stick pile. Can I get the table? Yep, here we go. Alright, perfect. That's the saw blade, and on it goes. Alright, woodwork's used for creating planks. So I can make planks out of the trees I've got now. Perfect. Wait, have I actually melded a bit of iron onto my hand there? Right, so now I can make planks. What's next on the list? I need to be able to make three one meter planks and three two meter planks. So at two meters, I need three of those and three of these as well. Oh, I can only craft one thing at a time. Guess I'm going to wait here for a while. Oh, that's interesting. You can also cut down planks that are larger into the smaller planks instead of just having to craft specific planks with different lengths of tree. Or log, rather. That's good. So we should be ready in just a second to put these onto the boat. Let's see what this looks like. Wait. It's not working? Oh, can I only carry a certain amount of planks? So where'd all the other ones go? Are they just on the floor? I'm carrying a plank. I crafted some planks. But I apparently didn't craft any planks because I only have one two meter plank. What? Okay, I guess I need a one meter plank first. Can I only carry one plank? Let's craft this and see what happens. Okay, and I have I have the plank in my inventory. Okay, so that actually worked this time. So what happened with the other ones? Okay, I have the other plank, so that's that one. Can I now use this two meter plank I'm carrying? No. Um. What? Okay, so it's on the floor next to the boat. Okay, there we go. It accepted that one. So we just need two more of these. Okay, the first one's done, and that's in my inventory. And the second just vanished. Hmm. Alright, let's watch my inventory again to make sure this one actually goes in. If it is, it should be the last plank we need. Yeah, it just vanished. Now my nearby list won't work. Okay, now it will. Okay, let's sift through this entire thing and look for the planks that I just made. Okay, nope, there's no planks here. So what, is there just... What? I'm genuinely confusion right now. That is exactly what I am. Okay, I need ten nails, which means that I need to make another cast. Okay, three times nails mold. Alright, and I'm guessing I need to bake this near a fire again. And that's instantly baked. Alright then. So let's pick up the two-hand saw mold and put the nails one down there. Could probably just put the saw blade one there. It's not going to go anywhere, is it? So, to make the saw blade, I need one iron nugget in here. Let's put a few, I guess. I'm going to need ten nails, so I just need to keep an eye on this. Pick up as many as I can. And I am starting to get really concerned about the, uh, the iron that's fused into my fingertips. It doesn't look healthy. Alright, so i just got to sit here and wait for the iron to trickle out of the furnace. Wait, what's the durability on the mold? Oh, so it's actually about to break after these come out. Okay, so yeah, we're, we'll be fine just leaving the molds there because it's not like we're going to be keeping them around too long. They're just going to break. So that one's... Yep, that's broken. And I got what? Is that three clay? So if I got three clay back from that, that means I only lost one clay. Is that how much it costs to make it? Four? Yeah, the molds cost four, so I only lost one clay with that. That's not actually that bad, really, is it? And now I can put the nails into the boat. Okay, there we are. So we've got kind of like a, a frame there for us to put the hull onto. What do we need now? Just more nails and more planks. Okay, so I guess I just do the same stuff for a little while longer. So did the nails cast? Yes, they did. 
And this should mean... There it is, the hull for the ship. So is that ready to go? Oh, I think it is as well. So do I just like take this off now? What do I do with it? Is that a picture of an axe or a hammer? Um, game? Hello? Hello, video game? Could I have my butt, please? Okay, well that's, um, that's rather disappointing. I spent all that time building a butt and I can't even use the damn thing. I spent a grand total of 3 hours, 216 minutes, and 22 seconds building that butt. And I can't, I can't do anything with it. Okay, well I've, I've tried everything I can think of, and my butt doesn't seem to actually be usable. That's kind of, well that's really disappointing actually, because I spent all of that time trying to build a butt. And I have, and it's broken. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm going to save the game, load back in, and try again. Okay, um... Slight issue. See if you can spot the problem. See if you can identify what's missing here. You know, the, the, the missing piece of the puzzle, the bit that really, really would, um... <sighs> okay. At the end of last time, I said that it's too early to pass judgment, that I can't really say whether it's worth buying in its current state or not. But, um... Oh my god, this is where I logged out. That's the rock that was attached to my hand. <laughs> yeah, um... I said it wasn't really time to pass judgment yet, and I think it's one to watch. It is an early access. If these um, flaws get ironed out, then it's definitely worth picking up. I really like the crafting system. Uh, there's a lot of power generation and stuff, like automatic crafting, that I would have liked to be able to get into. But I'm, I'm kind of burnt out from this now. That I've spent, what was it, like 3 hours and 200 minutes my save file set for some weird reason building this boat, and it's just... It's, it's just gone. Okay, benefit of the doubt, let's save and load one last time. Uh, nope, it's it's gone. It's gone. We've lost a bird and we've gained a floating glowing moon rock.